projects are only funded for a certain amount of time. And as good as the research may be, if you don't have a product that is going to change the world, that's a game changer, that produces something useful, then uh, a lot of that money just goes into uh, paper studies and, and it just goes into the dark and that's it. In our case, we wanted to make something different. We wanted to end up with a product that even before we're done with the project, we're ready to start commercializing these parts. So we're working on a super alloy known as RIAS, which stands for uh, refractory high entropy alloys. These were invented about 14 years ago for the purpose of using them uh, for aerospace components. The reason is that they use refractory elements, which are known to be very high temperature elements that have high strength. And what's really marvelous about these materials is that they can uh, withstand temperatures up to uh, 1600 degrees centigrade and still retain uh, a structural strength. We were able to build components of RIAs. Uh, they were about this big. And uh, once we built them and started machining them so we could do something with them, they broke. This is not supposed to happen. They're supposed to be high strength materials for aerospace. Yes, it's true that these RIAs can withstand these incredible temperatures and forces, but mostly this has been done at a very small scale. Sometimes they were looking at nano particles to find out what the properties were. And then, of course, as you start scaling into bigger parts, you start now looking at the grain size of the material. And so the material properties are totally different. What was really excellent at the nanoscale, now you bring it into a lab scale of a few millimeters and it starts breaking. It's easy to make a smaller part that is homogeneous, but how do you ensure that a homogeneous property propagates throughout the whole component? And we have demonstrated that. So this is the culmination of our work. World record RIA, which uh, basically weighs 7.7 uh, .7 pounds, it's an iteration process, basically. You produce a component, you observe the results, learn from that, and keep moving. It's a continuous improvement process. That's what we wanted to do is, one, extend the length of the RIA so that you can manufacture at a very high quality and being able to be machinable so that you can form the part that you need. Otherwise, it's just a nice theoretical toy.